Hey folks, it's Dom here, and today I'm not only very happy to show you a very cool uh, scene ritual kind of self-damaging deck which uses a Daran of Olvio, but also I have a big announcement that I am now an official Gwent partner. Also, Happy New Year, I forgot to mention that as well, because this video is coming out on January 1st, but I'm recording it a couple days before. But yeah, Happy New Year, I'm also a Gwent partner now, so that's going to be cool, meaning hopefully if you enjoy Gwent, You'll be seeing more content from me, but those of you who watch me for Legends, don't worry, I'm still sticking to that. It's just, this is something nice for me to kind of have alongside making more Gwent videos. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, the link for the deck will be in the description, and liking and subscribing always helps out the channel. We, Yeah! So we're up against Squirtel, already can tell by that music, and we're up against Not A Movement deck. Wow, this could be interesting. Could also be a Glace and really scare the hell out of us. Because I don't think we run a reset. We do have Karafi Heatwave though, just in case. Obviously don't want all of our Queen's Guard in hand. What do we want though? We could go for... Getting rid of maybe a nice Adept. And don't need a phrase, Blessing Round 1. Um, ah, right. Part of me wants to open up. You know, we'll open up with Harold. Get down some units to damage theirs. <laughs> will have your Stop it. This gives us a chance to kind of see what they're playing at. Okay. <sighs> Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Well, how about that? Now, do we actually have any beasts in hand? We don't. We do have a Neuromancy. Where we could grab something like Operator, which I think is our only beast in deck now that I look through it again. Other than Svalblood Totem, I guess. So let's let's start raining some hell. What is it? Okay. Just trying to assert a bit of dominance here. That makes sense. Red, come on! Who's fast? Right, let's get on Drum and Queen's God actually. <laughs> Maybe start to threaten them with a bit of a combo. Okay, so that's the big play of the round. Hey, what's in a boot? Which is interesting to see that now. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just get rid of that. Because they're going to keep on summoning dwarves. Which means just stopping that Fancy. isn't really that necessary. Right, we'll, we could go into a Neuromancy here, but there's not really anything that we... We'd want to badly. I mean, I guess Svalblood Totem's good for units and stuff. I'll tell you what, we we'll use this. And how about. What's that? That's that seven. Damn it. I was gonna decoction it. But we're a bit. Maybe I should have shot at them. Um, how about we use. Let's go with Totem. Just gets us several points ahead. There we go, look at that. Massive leap ahead of them now. We only need to play one more turn into this now. And how about that? We'll be pretty strong. Surely this is going to get a big push from them then. I mean, I guess that's kind of quite big. So that's going to be at least five and then another card. Next time it'll be Probably personal. volunteers. Yep, that makes sense. Hi -ho, hi -ho. So getting off our <laughs> obvious hits there. And tell you what, let's get down a bear witcher adapt. 
Buck in inside now. So we'll be getting one point each turn for like the next three turns. What a pistol poison. Hmm. Now the thing is, do we want this round? Or are we contempt on losing it? Because I don't really see too much that we... Hmm. If they play again, they'll easy take it and then we'll just be going into probably a full round three. Which we could do a few things in. Does last say really matter that much to us? I mean, if they're seeing to be full dwarves, so I don't really. I think we can give it up here. I mean, Svalblood Totem's the only real big drop that we've given. That's just blocking up a space anyway, and with Queen's Guard, we don't really want spaces getting blocked up. Mercenary, okay. Well, we must stick together. So we could probably assume this is an almost entirely dwarf deck. Which is interesting enough to see. Right, let's just get all the golds that we can. We're gonna get rid of Walkfar Hunter. Okay, so I think that's all we really need for redraws. We can kind of leave it at that. Finish there. And then pretty much... If they just openly pass, we can put down our... Just Witcher student maker, dude. The Quartermaster. Because, I mean, he's quite good, but the issue is... We're just going to be flooding our board next turn. We're going to be putting down so many units that... We just need to kind of... Well, thin a bit. Right into the third round. Third and final long round. Ten cards each. Okay, so Operator's interesting. Do have a nice premium. Um, we don't really need Freya's Blessing, do we? Because we've got plenty of ways to get all our Drum and Queen's Guards out. We mentioned before what we have the issues with Quartermaster. Be really nice to get the other Bear Witcher um, dude. Yeah, the Mentor. So... I guess we can go for that. Actually, that's an issue with um, Operator, is that he's probably going to completely clog us. So we might have to ignore playing Operator normally. But, you know what, I'm thinking... Maybe I'll open up with, like, a Ceres or something, because... Oh, no, not Operator. It's not. Because, <laughs> yeah, we haven't really got the things for that. Or do we want to... Nah... It's very risky to open up with a Daran. So let's go with Ceres, put it on the back row. And yeah, we'll get into like a little combo next turn. Might even put down a Daran and get two rows of Queen's Guard going. Okay, so they play Minor, a solid, solid dwarf card. Humans above, beasts below. Don't know which is Let's get a Daran down. Or actually, is there anything in deck that we want? Maybe Defender? Actually, we'll hold off on Defender, because it's just a decent 7 power unit. Mind you, I do like them. So we'll hit Queen's Guard so we can start getting two rows of Queen's Guard. And would you look at that? <laughs> we now have the ability to swarm the board. In fact, in a way, we don't really want any units in hand now that I think about it, other than, obviously, Morkvog's great. Um, Mentor. Bear Witcher Mentor's good. Gerd's quite nice, but I don't know. The issue I have with Gerd is that it's never really a good time to play him. Because obviously if we play him right now, he's just going to hit armor. In fact, it might actually be worth just letting him get off his adrenaline ability, even though it is worse. Just because he'll be hitting armor anyway. And if we play him later, that just means that we can kind of be a bit more flexible. Because the thing is, even with his adrenaline ability, he's still a 7-point seven, seven card. And because he's making a unit damage, that kind of works with our mentor. Again, Operator, it's tempting because obviously it'd be nice to get us another um, Borkvar Hunter. But it will flood the hell out of our board. So, we'll just Ursine Ritual. 
again. And you know what? We can walk we'll, we'll covenant of steel. Keep our back row safe. We'll Reason why we're not putting on the front row is because even though we want to keep Adaran safe, we um, don't really want to block up that front row that much. Just because that's where he's going to be putting the extra cards that he's spawning. Now, Gabble is quite annoying, especially as he's got immunity, because we just can't hit him. Meaning, whatever they do with that, we just have to let them keep those points. In fact, we might want to even get down the Borkvar Hunter sometime soon, just so we can start shooting their units and damaging them. Again, yeah, You're it, good. even though I want to use Operator, it's just the fear of blocking up our entire board of him. The main reason why he was in this deck anyway was just because he could spawn another unit and because he's a beast, so that means that he kind of works with Borkvar Hunter. Obviously, there's no point us spawning in a Mentor because it won't get the deployability. Okay, so that second defender is just going to get stunning blowed before they can buff it. And looking at what we got on the board, I think we're kind of... Yeah, we've got 12 units. We've got 1, 2, 3... We've got 4 more in hand. 5 more if you include our leader ability. So, you know, we're already looking at 17. Remember, Adoran's going to duplicate that, so that's 18. So we kind of just want to hold off playing, because... Yeah, we have got max units now. Fortunately, they don't have any, or they shouldn't have anything disloyal, especially for a dwarf deck. So we should be okay just to leave it at that. And let our queens guard, guard the queens. I mean, there's no real harm in getting down Gerd anytime soon now. Because he's, he's already hit adrenaline, so... I, I mean, I guess biggest might as well just ping that. Although I, I guess I should Karafi Heatwave to get rid of figures. Oh well. We'll play down Gerd this turn. Just so we can show off the premium, I suppose. It might be better switching out Operator for something else. Maybe get some other kind of like fit deck fitting card. Or something like that. Or a bit of, another bit of removal. Because obviously something like Geralt Quen would work really well in this. Just to get like a mentor out. But then again, that would mean I'd have to rejig everything because of provision costs. Here comes a Neuromancy. For Zoltan. So they're not really going for... Um, well, they're getting out quite a few Rowdy Dwarves. Which, if they have the other dwarf guy, we can change those rowdy dwarfs into something else. Could be very deadly. But they'd have to play that next turn for it to be a big issue. Might as well, Karafi Heatwave. And the things of our seen Ritual, we're just wanting to hit units which aren't damaged yet. Making sure our mentor can get the biggest buff possible. And there we go, we get two, two abominations dropping down on the front row. Meaning we have just enough space for all our units. Always worth double checking though, just in case I've completely messed up the maps. So we have got a very strong lead here currently. And you know, having Mentor and Morkvarg in hand are two very feral manoeuvres. It's just operate as a bit of a waste, I guess. But it's not too big an issue. Are they using that to attack or to... That's that's a full attack. You know, that actually works out really well for us. It's just another buff. It's another unit to buff up our mentor. I mean, even though we have lost seven. It's better to have that than have them fully buff their Great Oak. Because that means... Make it back to the keep. I saw that means we'd have to have two freeze. targets that we'd want to reset pretty much with Morkvarg. So that actually kind of helped us. Unless they've got something like a lacerate now, that would be be very scary to see. Or imagine that if they had like something that would deal one damage to all our units. 
and watch as our front row goes from full to like barely anything. I mean, I guess we'd still have one Queen's Guard still going on that front row, and then that would spawn two more, and then it would, it'd still be all right, I guess. Mahakam! Okay, so they're not stacking up their buffs, which is a bit annoying, but they're clearly trying to get rid of the damaged units now. We're going to drop Operator just for the sake of having it dropped. And I'm not going to hit a Rowdy Dwarf just in case they transform it. I'll hit the Grey Oak instead. Leave that damaged instead. And they've actually slightly misplayed here, I guess. Because their front row is completely full, so Zoltan can only hit one unit. But now we'll hit them a Hackham Defender. And... I mean, there's so many points behind now that <laughs> there's not really much they can do to catch up. I mean, obviously they've got their leader ability still, which is five points, and they've got whatever cards in hand. But to get to 74 from 57, that's not easy. Okay, well, that's the game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys are going to have a good year, 2021. Let's hope it all goes nice and well.